Hi and welcome to Deep in the Bunker on what is a beautiful spring day. So it's the perfect excuse to get out into the garden and plant some essential herbs. This also gives me the opportunity to help out a neighbour by getting rid of a load of hardcore, which you can see here, and build it up into a rockery, which makes a perfect um, crevice and crack hole for all um, mint, rosemary, anything I want to put in there. So the large hole down here is going to be rosemary, over here is going to be mint, uh, really build it up, make, make a nice, these hardy herbs that will just thrive in this lovely environment because the rocks hold the heat. Right, so saying that, let's finish this rockery off and start planting. As I say, it's all hardcore, it's all rubble, but once it's all in there, it makes it a little pretty picture. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do, as I say, is transplant the rosemary. So very, very, very carefully, I'm just going to tease out the roots here. So I'm making as big a circle as possible, so not to destroy any roots. I'm really going to try to tease out everything. Delicate little roots do not like to be disturbed. But here we go, a lovely root ball. A lot of fresh growth there, perfect. So, just going to dig out this hole a bit, loosen up the soil, and we're going to add a lot more just so it accepts the root system. All right, just packing in the dirt there, making it sure it's lovely embedded in for the summer ahead. Now don't worry about it being at an angle, it will reach up and it will seek out the sun. The roots may be horizontal, but the growth will grow diagonal. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you lying in bed, you're gonna raise your head to watch the TV. Right, it's time to show you around the rest of my herb garden. So here we go, a little tour. We got tarragon, we got parsley, thyme, lemon balm of course, oregano my favourite, sage and here's a nice little space for some coriander which super conveniently I've got right here and I've just gone for the cheap stuff, the supermarket living herbs, they're absolutely perfect, that trust me leave them out um, in the house for a few days before you plant them out and it gives them that little bit of hardness because they've been grown in a lovely greenhouse environment so you've got to make them a bit tough, you may get a little bit of wilt back but um, Good water to start with gives them the very best chance. It's exactly what I'm doing, the same with the mint. So the mint obviously is going into that wall, uh, exactly the same as the rosemary on the other side. Um, and it's gonna grow and it's gonna be fantastic. And that's gonna complete my sort of collection for this year. As I say, I've got uh, chives here just beside me. Over there I've got uh, something special I'll just show you in a second. All right, let's dig a little hole here. Just shut the sides, get your hands dirty, get some soil under the nails. First pot, far the edge you can get it because there's two of these going in and you don't want their roots to really mix. Let it down. Same again for the other one. Back it over there. Other pot in. Right. Down they are. Ready to make me some lovely salsa this summer. Right. As promised, here's my baby. Wow, my bay leaf tree. I absolutely love and adore her. She gives me everything. So the leaves are antiseptic um, and she's massive. Uh, I bought her years ago, about four years ago. And she was tiny, tiny little nothing. And now she's like, you know, taller than me. Right, let's get back and plant this mint. Right, once again, supermarket variety. Nothing expensive, common old garden mint, but absolutely perfect for the purposes. You got mine. These roots are really wet and lovely. So, into the first hole, jam it in there, ready? Pack it around with soil as much as you can. And as you see, that'll poke out and grow up lovely. Same with the second one, slightly different position, a bit more shadier, so we'll see how it responds once again. Hole. And I'll pack that out in the soil a second, and that should be really lovely embedded in um, after I get 
all these a lovely drink of water. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed certainly making it and um, enjoy showing you around my garden. Uh, so until next time, this has been Deep in Bunker. Take care, stay safe, stay sane.